Good Monday morning, South Florida. Sunlight just beginning to peak over the horizon, but the sun is still down. It'll rise uh, by 710. There's a lot of cloud cover, but we're starting off dry. A live view out of the Windjammer Resort camera in Lardo by the sea showing us that the surf is still up. It's a bit breezy. But we'll notice that the winds aren't as high as they were the past few days. Now, there are showers, but they continue to remain offshore south of the Keys, moving east to west. Elsewhere, uh, we are starting off, well, quiet, but on the breezy side, winds at 16 miles per hour. Marathon out of the east-northeast, wind gusts of 21 miles per hour, but only for the lower Keys. So even those gusty conditions are starting to subside a bit. Temperature in Miami is 79. For the most part, we're in the upper 70s. Highs today in the upper 80s with an east-northeast wind at 15 miles per hour. Look at all this dry air that is coming down into South Florida. It's been around for much of the northern half of the state and the southeast and it's associated with high pressure that is also going to continue to move further downward and that's going to help to actually bring the winds down because that center of the high is going to get closer to our area so dry air how long is it sticking around it's actually sticking around for a couple of days it's going to lower the humidities or the humidity level and the dew point temperatures down into the 60s then as we head towards friday into the weekend a little batch of moisture starts to return back into the area and that's when we can see the return of showers. Here's a look at what's happening elsewhere in the country. There's a front moving through the Great Lakes, the Eastern Great Lakes down into the south. This front is not going to come near here, but it's going to help to bring that high down into the Gulf of Mexico and as far as temperatures go, it's warm for the first day of fall, especially in the northeast and the south. Look at the 90s. This is a forecast high for later on today. For us, we will get back into the low 90s, not until Wednesday, but it will feel warmer each and every day because we're getting more sunshine. And the breeze, by the way, will be much lighter starting tomorrow.